In this episode, you will learn multiple ways to initialize a state property in a Swift UI view, depending on what you need. Okay, here we have this sorting visualizer that I created for multiple demonstration. And as you can see here, we are displaying multiple numbers that should be sorted. This is provided by this sorting algorithm. This is a state property that we are using that is in charge of the business logic. In this sorting algorithm, we are providing the items that should be sorted, which this is the set that we are generating and this is what we are showing the screen. However, as you can see here, this is one way to initialize the state. It's just right away where we are setting the variable, the type, and the actual value that we want to start. Remember that the view in CFUI is owning a state property. That means this state should manage something related to the view. In this case, it makes sense because we are providing data that the view will display. However, what will happen if we want to initialize this set of numbers in a different way? For example, if we scroll down, we can see here, okay, the sorting review is as it is, okay? I cannot modify it. If I want to add just three elements, it, technically it's not possible with this implementation. So what I want is to create an, an initialization for this particular situation. The problem now is that if we want to do that, let me create the init, okay? We need then to provide the elements here and we are not able to initialize the states in this way. So if UI provides a way to do it, actually two ways, let me show it. So instead of using this format, let me just copy this. Let me remove this. And now here, simply, we'll say sorting algorithm equal to this, right? And now here we can say items equal to, I don't know, maybe in the rate of ints in this case, and we can provide just this as items. And that's it. Now this is not working right now because I need to update all the instances of this. So let me... Add a few things here, and let me add maybe one, two, three, four, five. There you go. Now it works. So the second way, as you can see here, is literally just assigning the value directly in the initialization. This is not relatively new, but something that was introduced a uh, time later after SwiftUI was announced. But let me tell you that there's a third way in case you need it. So instead of using this, what you can do is and you maybe will see this in some other codes, is using an underscore sorting algorithm equal to, not sorting algorithm directly, but state, right? Initial value, and then here you will initialize a value, the actual sorting algorithm in this case, with items, items. It's a queer syntax, but it's something that in the beginning of CFUI, we had this as a unique way to initialize a state directly in initialization. And let me tell you, this way of initializing this is equivalent to the first way to do it. Like putting here uh, the values that we want to initialize. Because technically speaking, this is the state property, right? This is not the actual sorting algorithm that we're selecting here. This is a wrapper that is invoking the state wrapper, the state property wrapper. That's why here you are not setting the sorting algorithm directly. You are setting the state with an initial value. Actually, if you want, if you try that like this, you will get immediately a problem because this is not a state sorting algorithm. Nowadays, I think this is the better way to do it if you won't need to initialize some items from somewhere else and just keeping the ownership of your state in your view. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to show you this other way because it's also common, pretty common actually, to see in some code bases, depending of, of how you started this project in the past, you will see this underscore for some other state properties. 
and also some binding as well. That's it, it was a short video, but something that maybe is not obvious for many of you, so hope it helped you. And if that's the case, don't forget your like and subscription as the only way to support me. So that's all for me. Remember, my name is Pete, and this, this is Ifan Tips. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.